So ICON-8 was a, a, a UK-led international trial through the Gynecological Cancer Intergroup uh, looking at uh, weekly paclitaxel in the first line treatment of ovarian cancer. Just to give a little bit of background, uh, the standard treatment is carboplatin and paclitaxel given three weekly. Um, but in 2009, we received the results of the Japanese-led uh, study looking at uh, scheduling the paclitaxel in a weekly uh, dosing uh, rather than every three weeks. And that led to significant improvements in not only progression-free survival, but overall survival too. So it was felt to be important to uh, try and corroborate those data in a different uh, setting uh, with different population, which is one of the reasons why uh, the ICON-8 trial was launched uh, in the UK. So it compared three-weekly carboplatin with paclitaxel with three-weekly carboplatin and weekly paclitaxel. And a third arm was added, which was weekly carboplatin and weekly paclitaxel, on the basis of the fact that in Japan, not all the patients managed to get through the weekly paclitaxel, and it was thought that perhaps a weekly schedule of both might uh, be more tolerable. So it was a very big study. It's the biggest study we've seen of over 1,500 patients um, uh, in the first-line setting. And the results showed that whether patients went through chemotherapy after surgery or as part of a neoadjuvant program, that there was no difference in progression-free survival with any of the three arms. So we could not reproduce the data from Japan and show that there was an improvement using weekly paclitaxel. Now, looking at the ICON-8 trial in the context of what has happened since the Japanese trial was published, there have been two other weekly randomized studies. Uh, one in Europe, the MITO-7 study, which compared three weekly with both weekly carboplatin and weekly paclitaxel. That too showed no benefit of weekly paclitaxel. And then last year, uh, the GOG-262 trial was published in the New England Journal. That looked at the Japanese regimen of weekly paclitaxel against the three-weekly regimen. The difference in the GOG-262 trial was that 85% of the patients were given bevacizumab, not as part of the randomization, but as part of choice. That too showed no benefit for weekly paclitaxel. So I think certainly in the setting of either a European population or Caucasian population, predominantly Caucasian population as opposed to a Japanese population, we cannot reproduce the results. There may be differences in the way that the Japanese handle the drug. There may be uh, pharmacogenetic differences. We don't know. Uh, the trial was very well done in Japan and the results were very clear. Um, but certainly in terms of standard of care in Europe, in the United States, it's back to three-weekly carboplatin and paclitaxel.